the Challenge Cup, some of that you won, and it was neat at the back end of your career. I think, I, like, I look at the Challenge Cup as good as a Super League final, but I feel like rugby league's like not devaluing it these days, but the move where they're going to play it and things like that. But when you play, where, where, where was the final at when you played? It was at oh, Wembley, yeah. wasn't it? Oh, yeah. How special was that, especially towards the back end of your career? Oh, it's, it was immense. It was absolutely immense. And I'm right. I'm like you, John. We, we got brought up on the Challenge Cup. Yeah, that's all. With uh, the commentator, Ray French and yeah, that. And it, it was everything to us. Yeah. Fucking goosebumps. Uh, so, I'll, I'll tell you a little story, actually. 2009, we got, obviously, we got to the Challenge Cup final. But leading into the Challenge Cup semi final, I didn't sleep for the full week. Uh, I was I was a nervous player anyway. I used to be sick at games, and I didn't didn't sleep. Probably had over the week twenty hours sleep, uh, if that. And every morning I'd wake up and I'd be sick because the nerves of the semi final challenge cup. And then we ended up beating Wigan in the semi final, uh, which was unbelievable. Been at Warrington for thirteen what was it for thirteen years then, and got beaten five semi finals, which were killers. Uh, so very nervous going into game. Beat Wigan. Got to Wembley, it was unbelievable. So the week leading up to the final, slept like a baby. Slept all the way through, full week, relaxed, no nerves. Got to the game. Generally, game day, I used to be sick at the same time. There was no spewing, nothing on the game day. And I was like, oh, this is weird. Gets out into the tunnel, my son was uh, mascot. Uh, he's just chilled about. It may, probably made me a bit chilled. And, I played the game and, you know, it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. And then obviously reflecting on that when I'd finished and wondered why I didn't have any nerves. I had nerves in every other game, even if I was playing against Swinton or I was playing against Wigan in the, in the league, I had nerves. I didn't have nerves in the, in the lead up to the week. No nerves on the on match day. And then I realised, you know, from being four years of age and going back to your point, challenge cut was everything. Every little piece of land, what we, what I used to kick a ball on, or you know, any post or any lamp post in my mum and dad's street, it was always a post, and I would always kick to drop goal to win at Wembley, and I practiced that over and over again in my head, and if they reckon ten thousand hours of something or ten thousand times means that you've mastered it. Yeah. Well, I'd played at Wembley ten thousand times in my head easily, from being four up until in two thousand nine. What was it? Probably twenty eight, maybe. Uh, yeah, 2009, I was, what am I now, 42? I'm shit at maths, you have to do that. <laughs> yeah, a book. We'll edit that, don't worry. Yeah, so I was, I'd already done it and done it and done it. So coming to Wembley, it was my home. I don't, I've been here in my head and I weren't nervous. And I played there two times later in the Challenge Cup and not once nervous. I've been there and done it. And that's why, a million percent. So it was, it was, it was unbelievable. The 2009 one was, oh God. The, the club had not won it there in 34 years and the celebrations was just mental. Uh, people ask me, how long you how long did you celebrate for? Well, till I packed in drinking eight months ago. Till then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, fabulous times, fabulous. 